Alrighty, we are back to our video. Uh, if you're watching this video for the first time, uh, there's a there's a previous video. It's all together, number one and number two of this chicken. Okay, this is number two. Uh, and if you uh, if you're not a subscriber, just go ahead and subscribe. It's free, and we'd love to have you. And ring the little bell, and that way you can get a notification for uh, you know the the future videos. All right, let's get started. Now, this is the one that I paper mache. Remember that I paper mache this one? So what I did, I just paint her because I, what I want to do is some um, decoupage on it. And I try to find it. You remember I made those platters uh, for last year, maybe even around this time last year, and uh, with the napkin. And it turned out so pretty. I have no idea what I've done with them. I'll tell you, it's just been crazy. But this is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna use it, this, because I think it'd be pretty to put in a garden party or or just uh, get together, you know, springtime, and, and you can use the chicken maybe to put chips or whatever, okay? So this is what I'm using right here, half of it. And this is half of the, of the napkin. This is the napkin, and I got this, by the way, at, at Dollar Tree last year or the year before last i'm not even remember when but somewhere around there it was during easter and maybe i can get it open <laughs> okay and this is what it looks like the whole thing which is what i did to my platter now it's got two plies so make sure that you get you know the uh i'm gonna cut off a little bit in here those are hard to get out. I mean, they're so glued together, so be, be careful. Also, this is a very thin, thin, thin tissue. And if you're not careful, you're gonna break it, okay? And this is what I did. I only use just one, the top one, okay? And I use this for paper mache, this, uh, this little tissue here too. So don't throw it away, okay? Then I did, I just cut half of it. And this is what I have right here. So let's get started and make sure my glue bottle is okay. I got so many news, guys. It's just unbelievable. Uh, people are already looking at my place and I haven't even got, got it in the market. This is how things are going for me. And I bought me a house, a little house. And you're gonna love this one. It's a fixer upper. <laughs> so we're gonna be having a lot of videos on how to do it. And I'm talking, I'm demolishing walls and stuff like that. Now the only thing that I'm not gonna be doing in my house, I can't, I'm having a hard time doing this today for some reason, let's see. Okay, now we're going. And the only thing of course that I'm not gonna do in my house, we're gonna replace all the electrical and the plumbing and stuff like that. I don't have time to fool around, plus I'm not good at it. I can repair some plumbing, but I'm not a professional otherwise, you know. Anyway, uh, and I'm getting it. I'm gonna sign the papers April the 12th. So as soon as I sign the paper, things are gonna be going on a lot. I'll try to do a blog more, you know, about all the whole things that's happening and uh, maybe be easier that way. Okay, I'm gonna put some glue over it. And I like to go ahead and uh, brush it on because I think you get a better even a spread of the um, of the glue okay alrighty there we go and then I'm just gonna go in try to place it I'm gonna stand up because if I don't stand up I don't cannot do it let's see okay let's see I'm gonna put it right I'm just gonna do it right, right so, oh, be careful, <laughs> okay. Be very careful, because like I said, it's, it is really, and on here, I'm going to cut that off because I don't want all of this in there. Okay. 
just part of it. I hope you're all doing good. I hope you enjoyed the video so far that I made out the first one. Okay. And just make it a smooth. You can go over, see what I did just now? Uh, be careful with it. <laughs> you can go over, I'm gonna do it like this right now, with uh, plastic and then, you know, it smooth it out really good. I'm just gonna do it with this, but you can go over with the plastic and that way you don't have to touch the, uh, the tissue, okay? But either way, just be careful with it, okay? All righty. Water or my, my um, brush is still a little damp. I'm just gonna go ahead and, and just damp it and here we go. And here we go. Easy as pie, right? <laughs> and the rest of it, I'm just gonna go under it. it it's not a big deal. I hate it when things like that goes. Let me open this up. Well, shoot. Now we got it. Don't you just hate it when things just don't go your way? <laughs> All righty, that's it better. This way, and just fold it over. I think the, uh, the stopper is probably plugged up. It probably is. Okay, I'm gonna take this off and I'm just gonna kinda take this one out. And actually, I'm probably gonna put it right here. For just a minute. Alrighty, let's see. Kinda makes it look kinda nice in there. I like decoupage. Uh, I have done another one. Remember the black one? Well, the black one, you're not going to recognize it today. I'm gonna to show it to you. So stay tuned to the very end of the video because I'll show it to you. And it's a shabby chic. And, and I, like, I like them both. This is more simple and it's more, you know, fun kind of a chicken. And the other one is, uh, well, shabby chic, what can I say? <laughs> Alrighty, very good. So now what I'm going to do in here, Let's see if I can get all the way to the end. Oh yeah, way too much, but it's okay. And of course you wanna go ahead and give it a good coat of uh, glue over it when you get done, okay? Well see, you don't, you're not gonna waste anything because you're gonna come back here and look at that. Let me see, I'm gonna take this one off because it's kind of the edge of the paper and I don't like to, you know, I don't, I don't like that. All right, so yeah, I'm probably gonna be doing a vlog right after I finish this uh, chicken, because like I said, there's a lot of things that I need to talk about. And uh, you know, most of it is good, and some of it maybe, you know, a little bit, not too bad really actually, but you know, and I will tell you all about it. So the vlog probably will not gonna be out, it's gonna be my, uh, next week uh, <clears throat> video, but it's gonna have a lot of information of what's going on in my life right now. And believe me, it is crazy. <laughs> but I'm very excited at the same time. And I think it's what the Lord wanted, you know, it meant for me because it just, it just happened. So I wanna keep you in suspense. And it's not a boyfriend, okay? <laughs> I'll 
thank you that much. <laughs> I like my life. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this one right here. Actually, I'm gonna cut a little bit of this one. See, this is one wonderful about decoupage. Well, I'll just put it right here, right now. Ay, 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 there we go. You don't have to uh, do the whole thing. You can just kind of play with it. There we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, basically that's just it on it, see? And I'm gonna show you, see I already done the other side, I'll show you here in a minute, but we're gonna do this first, okay? So really, let's see how it is. From back, back is okay, and front is okay, so we're good. All right, let's see. Uh, you know, I may just go ahead and put, I think I have another piece in here. Yeah, I do. All right, because the back, I just want to be sure that it comes down. Otherwise, when it's setting, it shows white, and I don't want that. Okay, that's better. I'm just gonna come back here. And I hope you like these videos that I'm doing like this. Like I said, I get them all out at one time. So you get to see them all at one time, okay? Oh, you know, at your leisure, in other words. But you get the whole, you get more out of it than you would otherwise. So I also painted white, I meant to tell you this. So the paper mache, I just painted in white. That's all I did. And then I paper mache one side, kind of sort of finished one side. It's not completely finished, but almost just to, you know, make it a little bit shorter, the video. And then, um, so anyway, and paper mache, and then we're gonna go into, you know, what, uh, the finishing touches here. Okay. Now I'm gonna give it a good coat of glue over it. Also, I put the little flower right in here, kind of with the eye, and I will paint that, okay? Or you don't have to, you can just paint it. It's up to you, whatever you wanna do to your chicken. Um, I was gonna put some putty or, you know, clay on it, but I decided not to. Um, number one, it was time, you know, consuming for me. And number two, I thought, well, you know, this is one of the things that you're gonna be making probably more than one eventually, so. But you can, and I think it will look really nice if you do anything with clay or, or other, you know, components. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, it looks good. And see now the back looks good. When you when it's sitting down, it doesn't have any white in it. And in the front it's the same way. See, so it don't have any white on it. And that's what I wanted. I left the white because I'm gonna work on the beak. Okay, let me get these little things out of the way because it will drive me absolutely batty. And they'll get on me. Alrighty. So, let me show you what I did in here, which we're gonna do on the other side. I have done four rows of jute in it, you know, to make it kind of finish it off. So this is where I'm at right now. And I'm gonna do it now on the, on the area, excuse me, I got this in here, on the area that we're gonna, you know, keep on following. I finished in here, and now we're gonna keep going this direction. Okay, let me get the thing out of there. And this I did it with a little bit of the hot glue. And you don't have to put much, by the way. Just enough to kind of hold it. This 
this is sour. The first one is sour, the one that takes the longest in it. <laughs> okay. I hope, Donna, if you're watching, uh, you have uh, received your Volkswagen. I know it's, it's going to take a little bit, but I tell you, the, the mail is so bad nowadays, and, it, and their excuse is that, you know, they're too busy. Well, hire more people, right? Because there's a lot of people without a job. Once you get in here, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to turn, you know, around. There we go. And now we're going to, let me go ahead and finish it in here. And turn it. And you want to get it really, really close to the other one. See? And just pinch it. There you go. And it's fine. Let me, if I can bring it up a little bit more so you can kind of see. I hope you see it okay. Okay, there we go. I thought since she's more of a, you know, spring thing, well, why just gonna put some jute on her? Somehow, I, I just didn't, kind of a country girl, like me. Actually, I'm a city girl, but I love the country. And the place that I bought, don't have as, as many, of course, it's, it's not as large, but it's still over an acre, so that's well wonderful. And uh, I like that. Alrighty, let's keep going with this one. Okay, okay. And I'm just gonna put it right there and just keep on going. There we go. And I'm just pinching them together, make sure that they're nice and together. I probably would have done it with glue, but it would take so much longer to, you know, to dry it and all that. And this is why I did it with the, um, I want to come back to the end in here just a sec. Uh, this is why I'm doing it with the glue gun, okay? I'm just going to pinch it in there. So you might want to do that. You might try it with glue. It should dry it nicely. Because this, see the, what I mean? I have to cut these little pieces of the glue. And it's not so bad, but. All right. And it looks like we got quite a, well, not so many uh, mm, comments. Uh, so guys, if you wanna win, you have to, the one of those uh, Easter um, eggs, you need to watch the, uh, you need to comment too, you know, on the, uh, on the bunny videos, on all five of them also, okay? So if you wanna win, be sure you do that, okay? And we're gonna do the drawing on the 10th of this month. I believe it's on a Wednesday, but I'll tell you for sure on the, uh, on the, on the blog. 
Okay, so we got three rows and now we're gonna go for the fourth one. And again, I wanna make sure I've really pinched it really good in here so it'll be together, okay? And then just, there we go. see there we go see so now we got it and of course I'm gonna have to go back and cut these little pieces of uh, glue or get them off but I'm gonna wait until it's good and dry and this is it see that's it so now we got both sides done okay now I'm gonna do the crest I done the crest in here see and this is the, I think I bought this at Hobby Lobby. And this is the trim. Because I was trying to figure out what trim to use. And I didn't want just the jute, I wanted something else. I happen to have this. So let's do that. And how I did it, let's see if I can put this a little higher, hold on. Because I want y'all to see this. Let me put her higher. Okay, okay, okay. So how I did this, I came back here and basically, I'm gonna glue in here first, okay, right there. So they'll stay. Hold it. Come back here, go up on it. And then, just kind of make a little loop in there, okay? Like that. And then you're gonna, of course, you're gonna glue it again. So go up and hold it. You, it's gonna be two turn things. So first I'm doing the little crest on it. And again, I'm going to come back here, up, down, Should I turn it down? I'm all thumbs this morning, folks. All right, there we go. Okay, there we go. And what you do, you give in the little, you know, ruffle or whatever you call it, loop on the, uh, on the crest, so it'll look more like a crest. <clears throat> And then we'll come back in here and come down. Okay, right there. There we go. Let's see. Come back. And come back up. And Probably is if you have something to, you know, to kind of put it in there. And then up. Down. I think I'm gonna have to put some more glue. Okay, up, oops. Down, and then up, whoops. <laughs> Crazy things. All right, and down. And then without cutting it, I'm going to go ahead and glue it. To kind of, you know, trim this off a little bit. There we go. And now we got a little crisp, okay? And I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna cut it, but I'm gonna go under, okay? It won't show. Yeah, 
go with this. And I'm gonna stick it under because it's not gonna show, see? And it looks the finish looks finished, but it's not, you know, you don't look, you don't see it. All right, well, let's work on the wings. Let me put her here for a minute. And we're gonna work on the wings. And here's one of them. Okay, for the wings, I made the little circles, you know, and you know how to do those. How I do mine, however, I tell you, I found out it's easier. Instead of trying to get this little thing turned, I double knot it one, and then go down oh, over, you know, again twice. And I made this little knot. And it seems to be so much easier to get hold of it, really. So now when I put a little bit of a glue, and I would do this with regular glue, by the way, but I'm just doing it here to show you. Then you have something really solid to kind of a hold of it. And it just goes like, I mean, really easy. And the other way, I was trying to get it to turn and I mean, you know, so, but look at it, hold on. See how easy it went in? So you make the circle, if you're gonna do this, the size that you want. And I did this with the glue, okay? So I'm going, but first of all, we're gonna do something else. Let me cut that off. You see these little ridges in here, or uh, you know, valleys, I guess you can say, whatever. And what I'm gonna do is come back here and I'm gonna give it a little bit because I'm gonna turn it under and come here and just put that on there. Okay, this one I'm just gonna glue it under, it's fine, no biggie. This way will be out of the way, okay? Then I'm gonna come back. Again, I'm gonna come here. And I'm coming here. And so you don't have to cut, really, you don't have to. Just a second. <laughs> I, might have to, I might have to glue that a little bit in there just out of my way. Okay, there we go. And you go, you got, you know, four, four, oops, four turns. Okay. Now I'm going to put this on there. Really, they both look good, so that's what I like about the knot. It makes it really pretty center, too. Okay, I'm gonna put it right here. But I'm gonna give a little bit, just a little bit in here, because I'm gonna go around it one more time. I'm just gonna stick that in. Just put it there, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead. As you know, you can probably burn those little fuzzies, you know, so no, with a, a cigarette lighter or a stove lighter, I guess, too, you know, whatever you have handy. Okay, now what I'm going to do now is I go now, I'm going to continue all the way around it to the wing. Okay. There we 
here. Go ahead and make sure it goes to the little spot and just kind of, you know, pinch it in there. Just be careful because this is hot. You might even want to do it with something like this, okay? Which is probably better for you. My, my fingers, my, my kids think I'm just super warm, I guess, because my fingers are so used to the heat, they don't bother me, but you have to be careful, honestly. So don't do as I do, but what, do as I say? <laughs> thank you, oh, welcome, all, all of you new su subscribers, thank you so much. Um, you know, I try, I try not to fail you guys. You know me, I, things can happen in a split of a second. I guess. All right, there we go. And I'm gonna give it a couple of rounds. Let's see, I got one or two. Yeah, two. I have been trying to finish this video for a few days and I had one interruption right after the other one, especially yesterday, it was crazy. And But there were things that had to be done. So, you know, I'm not going to, it's not that I'm complaining, but sometimes uh, things happen that you have, you know, no control over it and you need to, to do what you have to do. But, um, so this morning, I told my friend, I said, I'm staying at home, I'm finishing my video. <laughs> I don't go anywhere. All right, so now what we're going to do is cross over a little bit what we turned, because we're going to give it another one, but we're going to do it right under it, okay? So I'm going to go to here. And... Get right under it. And then we're going to do another round. I was going to do just one, but one didn't look quite right, so I have to go over with, with you know, two rounds. Like I say, you may be doing something else with it. Uh, I don't know. Oh, another thing before I forget. My daughter could not, uh, well, Basically, she did not have time to help me the other day when when uh, when she came to work on my computer. They did my computer, but they, they, they needed to get back home. Uh, they have work to do. And so uh, I thought, well, how am I do this? Okay, folks, I want to make it easy for you guys. Below, I'm going to put uh, a peel box. Uh, it's not my home, but it's my friends, and uh, actually it's the museum. And, uh, but I can get mail there. Um, anyway, and if you send me a return with a stamp envelope, I will send you the pattern, okay? I figure that would be the easiest way for both of us. I'm hoping that my daughter will have time to do some of my future things or show me how to do it anyway. Because I'm dead as far as computers, folks. I'm sorry. Okay, come on, come on. I need some more. Okay, oops. Oh, 
Okay, and you can tell really right now that it shows better than just one. So, you know. If you want to do more, then you can do more. You know, however you want to do it, it's up to you. Uh, it needs a lot of TLC here. I don't like glue guns, but I know for video, and it's usually, you know, it's the best thing to do. It's got its purpose, okay? <laughs> And if you want to know which one I have, I have the Sure Binder, and it's really good. Um, there's a, I believe that they make a really good one too, like a, more like a heavier duty. I think I probably eventually I'm gonna get that one. Okay, so we've got it here. So now I'm just gonna do this way. I'm gonna put it in here and come down. So I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna cut. All right, there we go. So we got one of the face part of the, uh, we got the wing almost done. It's not done yet, okay? The next thing I'm gonna show you how to do is the little rosettes. I know I've done it before, but I'm gonna do it. This is what I have. I have this uh, jute that came in a row like that, and I love it. I don't even remember. I think I probably got it in one of those uh, warehouses in Dallas that they have all kinds of fabric and stuff and trims, and I believe Probably this way I got it. And I had two rows. Um, anyway, let me do you this. Uh, let me do you. <laughs> let me show you how to do this little rose. You turn it like that. Okay. Can you see that? Okay. Turn it down. Then you're going to do. Just roll it a little bit like this. Get a good handle on it. That way it's easier to do. Okay. When I get about like a couple of turns, then I'm going to turn on my left. I turn and then I keep going and then I turn again and I keep going and then I turn again and I keep going now when I got it about like this I can hold it in here and it's gonna make it easier on, on, on doing it so see I do it like this I turn it and just keep on holding it turn it and just keep on holding it. I don't, I'm not holding this, I'm just holding the flower itself. And I find that I can make it just as better that way, okay? But if you know a better way, please do so, okay? I'm just saying this is the way I do it. Okay. So you want a flower about this big. I believe it altogether maybe about 10 turns, give or take, okay? When you get it done, like this, then bring it, turn it, and bring it, and cross it with the other one. But before you do that, get some glue in here, maybe. See, and I'm gonna cross it with this one here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. All right, now I'm gonna come here with, with the other one came out, and put a little glue in there, and also, you know, close it. And close it. And there we go. There you go. Okay, and the back is also done. Okay. I'm trying to show you what I'm doing, that way you know what I've done. <laughs> Here is the little wing, all finished. And what we're gonna do in this one is the same thing. Let's make my little ones with all you. Yeah, now I'll put this one in here, in the center, that's the one I just got through. And these little smaller ones, I'm going to every little, you know, end of the wing. Oops, make sure you, Make sure you turn it on the right side. <laughs> uh, oh, let me see. Hold it, hold it. Let me put this one there. A little smaller. I just thought that way it kind of tells you where the wings are. I mean, the end of the wings. I don't know. 
you know, it's just fun. <laughs> but I thought it was kind of cute. And it's different. There you go. So now we have both of them. What I did to this one, I gave it two coats of polyurethane and I went over the, the roses. But instead of brushing it, I just pressed the, the polyurethane on the, on the jute. And that way you don't get more little fussies or anything like that, okay? Press it, kind of soak them really good, okay? And, and this one is done already. So we're gonna go ahead and put it on. And I believe this one goes in here, see? No, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> think. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and glue it. Now I gotta turn it a little bit. And the nice thing about it is you can still do that, okay? Give a little bit of a, whatever it needs. So it will form into the, into the, into the hand. There you go. And I'm holding it like I wanted it. And I'm just going to really, and then of course I keep going. I'm just really giving it a lot of glue in here, folks, because it needs to be pressed down and hold it down. And you remember that the chicken it was so narrow in here, you was stuffing the the uh, the plastic when you do the paper machine and stamp. I mean, you can just make, I could have made it even wider than that. So I, I didn't think it was too bad. Okay. And I might have to do a few more times on this one because, you know, you really need to hold it down really good and make sure it's cool before you let it go, okay? And once it's in there, it's not gonna go anywhere, okay? Oops. Okay, I think the other one, I'm just gonna tack it, okay? But you you know what I'm t doing. This already go and put it a long video, but I know that's what you want, right? Make sure you get it just about the same as the other one, give or take. Yeah, I think I got it, okay? And like I said, I'm just gonna tack it in there. and probably go back there and really, really hold it and glue it, okay? All right, I think it looks really, really, really cute. All right, so let's go ahead now and I'm gonna do the little tails on the back. I have four, you can do this any length you want to. I got four the same. Oh, wait, I was the other one. Let's see what I got four in here. One, two, three. Okay, where are you? Well, I can cut another one, it's not a problem, so. Uh, okay, so I got four the same length and the middle one I made it a little longer, okay? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn them this way. Just tuck it a little bit. Good. 
but she needed to be have some plumes and the some feathers in the back, right? Okay, then I'm gonna put one, two together, and one, two together. It's really super easy, really. And you can do this or you can do a ribbon. I don't, you know, just whatever you want. So I got four, now I'm gonna do the big one, or the longer one. All right. So, let me just put this together like this. Maybe kind of angle it a little bit this way, okay? And then I'm going to bring this one in the middle in the back. Okay, now I want to put it on right here. And I think it's going to look really cute. So I'm going to just and I'm gonna mold it to the back, like this. And then I got an extra little circle, just to take, you know, to make sure we cover that up. And that's all I'm gonna do to the, to the back. Okay, and it looks really cute even from the back because of the, you know, everything is done. Now, if you want to put another little circle, then you're welcome, and I may do that. Oh, sorry. See, you can put the little circle in there. I think I'm going to. What the heck, right? All righty, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. All righty. And then I'm going to put a little more glue so that this is going to the back. That's what I want, really. Okay, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Oops, there you go. I think she's turning out really, really cute. Okay, the next thing is... Uh, what is it? I had all these things made, folks, and yeah, okay. It's under the, you know, that those little, uh, I don't know what they're called, really, I don't know. You know, the little things hanging on their chin. Well, what I did also, I got this, and I double knotted. So I got one and two, oops. Because I wanted to make sure that it was going to be just right. Okay, right there, I'm going to go ahead and glue it because I just want to be like a little pot. Okay, all right. And I don't want it too, too long, but I'm going to do that one. I'm going to do another one. Before I put it together, i make sure that both of them are the same. I don't think it have to be the same. Sometimes they don't know the same, but whatever you want to do. I'm very accommodating today, right? <laughs> All righty, here we go. Again, I'm going to pinch it like this. And I'm going to do another little pot. Okay? And I want to make sure they're both of the same. So I put them from side by side and voila. Okay, so, oops, sorry. Then I'm gonna cut one a little shorter. I know you think I'm crazy. And then this one is gonna be fold over. And it's going to be coming around, hold on. Oopsie, it's gonna fold over and The threads are coming out, it's okay. And then bring it all the way around and and 
is hot. <laughs> so you made kind of like this little thing here. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and, whoops, let me cut the little threads in here. I'm going to put it on, on her. Right here. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, I want to one. Come on. Do your thing. Do your thing. I'm going to kind of one going one way and the other one going the other direction, okay? Uh, I didn't have anything else that I could, you know, make it out of, so this is what I did, this one. Again, just kind of turn it around. Come down and turn it around. Here we go. Make sure the other one is under it, because... There we go. And then... I wish I had nails. I cut them. I, I actually cut my nails short, folks, because they break anyway. So my my nails growing really fast, but they also break very very fast. So I cut them just short. Alrighty, and then I'm gonna do the other one going there the other way. There we go. And since I made this little bitty thing here, I don't think that would look too bad, do they? Maybe right on top of it to finish it off. I'm gonna do it. What the heck? Yeah, see? Kinda connects them together. Let me go ahead and paint her little eye. Which, by the way, I did with the, the end of the brush. And, and here too. And then you just put a little white on it. I'm gonna let it dry before I do. On this one, it has a little bit more of a white in there. Can you tell? So I'll do that, just put a little bit of white, okay? And that's all. And let's just do now the beak. That's what I needed to do. And we'll be done, and it's probably gonna be an hour thingy. Sorry about that. But you're gonna get two chickens in one, so. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is twist it like that. And hopefully it'll work. <laughs> Don't you just love it? And twist it. Okay, I'm gonna twist it twice actually. There we go. And then with the uh, with the jute, we're gonna go around it. Okay. Mm. Make sure they're both about the same on the side and everything. Okay.
then I'm gonna get in and cut and I'm gonna go back in here and what I'm doing is filling the uh, I'm gonna be feeling, you know, the, the beak. Make sure you cut it on an angle. And that's it. Come back in here, and we're gonna do the same. I'm gonna come back in here around it, okay? And I wanna come back up. Making sure that we get it in here. come back here and basically what you're gonna do is just go you know around it and just cut it I do hate the glue gun. <laughs> I'm sorry. It gets glue all over me. My. All righty. I'm going to cut it off. And that's it. All right. There's his little beak. And there she is done, folks. So I hope you enjoyed this little video, and I'm gonna show you now the. Uh, I'm gonna show you now the uh, the shabby shit. Okay, let's get this out of the way. So here is one, and here is the other one. And I use the pearls in the bling for, you know, make the difference between it. Like I say, some of you like, and see the little bar? I think they turn out so cute. So, you know, I just, I just didn't like it. I didn't know what I was going to do. I thought, well, I'll just work on this one for the shabby chic. What I did in here, I put two triangles, you know, cut two of them out of cardboard, put them on either side, and then glue them together. And then I put this little lace that I have, which is this one, actually. What I did, I cut this little bit right here to put down in here and then I cut a couple of flowers to go here and there just to finish it off okay and uh, it's got polyurethane and what I, which I will do on this one I'll pour it in and they just make it all the way around and then of course cut it out and then give it a nice I mean this thing is not going anywhere then I did finish it off with some black felt that I have it's not gonna show but I just didn't have anything else uh, so I got this just to finish for her and I think she turned out really cute like I said you got one really fussy one and one not so fussy but I think she's really cute I really like her because she's different and uh, if you're gonna have like I said a party or something put that you can make your platters and everything to kind of mix and match you know kind of got everything going together and a platter is just a dollar, a dollar trick. Come on, it's easy. <laughs> so I think that is wonderful. Thank you so much for staying and hopefully 
through the end and uh, so until next time stay well stay crafty and god bless you and i will be making that video about all what's going on as soon as i get done with this bye bye